Good. Settling in nicely? Yeah, as much as I can. No, it's good. Uh, it's, it's good to be back, you know, in the orange and black. And uh, yeah, I've been I've been here for a while now and everything's been settled in and, you know, everything, our cohesion and coming together as a staff. Um, uh, my family will be here next week. So that'll be good to be around my wife and my girls again. But yeah, you know, everything's great right now. For, for you, what was the the biggest part of your decision to come to come back? You know, it was an opportunity um, where I was. It was, you know, it was a little bit of gray what was going on there. And then, uh, I mean, Oregon State, you know, when you know, Trent did a great job with his defense. And, you know, when Trent and I spoke and the opportunity came about, you know, I speaking with him and then talking to my wife, it was the question was like, why not? You know, I get to come back to the alma mater, you know, a place where I, 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 I came here back in 1997 and uh, to lead the defense. And uh, to be a coordinator again, and uh, you know they've been doing a great job. So it was just, a, why wouldn't I take this? So it's a great opportunity around great people, and it's you know really good community at my alma mater. As the defensive coordinator with a, a defensive-oriented head coach, that's a, a different situation than maybe if you have an offensive head coach who just says you take care of the defense. Right. So how important? How important is it for you guys to to be aligned in the way you're looking at things you know the same way it doesn't matter in my opinion if it is an offensive head coach the offensive head coach and now with the defensive head coach is going to have his philosophy and it's important for me as a coordinator to be aligned with him regardless of what background and side of the ball he comes on um, because at the end of the day uh, you know, we're going to do things right in, in the vision of the head coach Coach, you're talking about kind of your journey since you left here as the DB coach, you know, I think about a decade ago or so. To, to your point about wanting to come back, did you kind of ever think that, like, when you ended up leaving for Washington back then, that, you know, so many years later you'd get the opportunity to be back here and, you know, return to a place that's so special to you? Yeah, you know, um, with that, yeah, with that, uh, I, I've always stayed close to the program, yeah. even when I was at the other school, you yeah. know, uh, just because, <laughs> um, you know, this is where I went, sure. yeah. you know, and I have a lot of friends here and, and I always talk to former teammates and stuff and we followed them very closely. Um, so did I ever think about it? You know, you always in the back of your mind, like, oh, that's an opportunity, especially with some of the openings that came up. And it just happened, so happened to work out where I was able to come back and it was the position that was that's fitting for me. So many new faces on defense. One of the guys coming back is Jay Rob, obviously, their seventh year. What what does it mean to have a vet like him back there, and what, what does he bring to that? Yeah, you know, in addition to Jay Rob, there's Skyler, AJ. I mean, there's tremendous depth in our in our secondary, and then those guys have a lot of good knowledge and played a lot of plays. Mm -hmm. So um, to have that, you know, those are kind of like guys in the room that you can kind of lean on. Um, and then we just talked about, you know, talent is the floor. You know, so we got to elevate everybody in the room to where we're on the page and it's second nature to us making our calls, you know, on every level. It's second nature for us to pursue and, and run to the ball and do the things that we want to do on defense. Um, but having that experience is, is, is great. Like, who wouldn't want that, you know, so that, you know, you got guys who have a lot of snaps on defense to come back in and feel right in and play. And it sounds like he's embracing that leadership role. That's got to be immensely important. How have you seen him kind of show that behind the scenes? Yeah. So we, you know, it's separation time, the separations and the preparation, and uh, in our group thread with all the DBs and myself. I mean, we didn't have a uh, uh, we didn't have a meeting until nine o'clock today. Mm. But he said that we're coming in at eight fifteen. I was like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're coming in at eight fifteen. So we met. We got forty five extra minutes before our nine o'clock team meeting. Um, but that's great because uh, when you got the players. Led, that means you know you got something the culture is moving in the right direction or is in the right direction. What did he want to do at 815? We were going over, we were going over the install. Okay. And making yeah. sure, you know, we were on top of everything we had to do and then the young guys were making the calls so that way everybody understands what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish today. J Rob was asleep. Give huh? me 45 minutes to sleep, J Rob. Come on. <laughs> J Rob was telling us that uh, he had a moment with you in the training room where you were telling him telling him a little bit about your time playing here. Is that something where you just gotta let the guys know, hey, you know, I was here before and did some pretty big things here? Oh yeah, you gotta let them know. Yeah. Sometimes they don't think you that old ball coach. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I wore number three. I ran yeah. around here. I know what you're going through, so it's not that hard. Get it yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> with, with all the holes to fill, 
there, those are opportunities. Absolutely. Uh, is there a, uh, does that lead to a, a enthusiasm amongst the players that you know there's playing time to be had mm-hmm. if we show the right things? Yeah. Right now. No, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, with that, and we call it an organizational chart. We're moving guys around. We're not getting pelted right here. Yeah. We're moving guys around. <laughs> um, to uh, you know, to, to, to get those experience and giving them reps and you know, hey, you can fly around, play ball, you know, don't worry about the mistakes. But the thing is, is your effort, you know, getting to the ball and how you play, how you attack, you know, on this defense. And then some of those things where you make a mistake, where well, that's what we're going to correct in the meeting room, so that way, you know, you can end up being better. But getting the opportunity out there to play now, you got to make the most of it because that, it, it, it's going to come a point in time where we're going to look at it and you have to be productive in everything you're doing on the defense so we can execute because we're going to play the best 11 at the end of the day. Thanks, Coach.